He called on upon the minister in charge of that uh, uh, bill or head of exterminated department or, or however, head of any other agency, government agency, to come and brief the leadership with a view to acquainting us with the basics of that bill. So that in your absence, we we'll now take over, we we'll argue in favor of that bill to convince our colleagues to pass uh, such a bill into law. So, uh, leader, this bill uh, seeks to uh, repeal and reenact the... Actually, not in existence, because we cannot ask anybody to pay in pounds. Or if we translate it in Naira, like in 2004, say 50 Naira. So many publishers are not depositing. And actually, as, as a year goes by, we discover that the audio and the visual which this country is very much known for. It's not being deposited. Therefore, the history, the memory of this country is missing. And part of the reason is because the punishment. The view of a legislation to the best interest of our country for me is a revolutionary initiative for us to have a fine law. Revolutionary, it is also a progressive one. I want to use the very fine word that you use. We need to also to digitalize our legislation. And uh, the Nigeria's library board, or Nigeria's library as an organization, should not be left behind, should not be left out of digitalization. I want to assure you that the House, through my office, and the support of my, my brother, the chairman of the House Committee on Rules and Business, will definitely do the much we can to make sure that this legislation sees not only the light of the day, but it is being passed with the speed of the light. We will do that because it is our responsibility. We will do that because it is our duty. And we will do that because we are convinced it is in the best interest of our nation and the best interest of this very organization that is also like a custodian of Nigeria's heritage. Good to come over here because the issue at stake concerns legal drafting of bills and I will be asked to come to attend this meeting and to answer questions if any um, that we need to answer sir. So the Attorney General office is a very busy office and uh, he would love to be here in person but this letter made him absent and we can't keep you waiting sir. So we came to honor this invitation sir. Thank you very much. Whenever he finds himself in a situation where he will not be able to deliver on the details of that bill, he asks, he will ask the chief executive of that particular agency now to speak on that particular bill. Now, we really found it, I really find it very awkward that you, you didn't bring any letter. You are not even the director. You are not the permanent secretary. And uh, really, uh, we really very awkward. From who matters? You want me to get on the floor of the house to tell my 360 colleagues that, oh, it was a deputy director that briefed me? You think they would take me serious? Deputy director coming to engage with an institution as an independent arm of government. Whatever we are doing here is for and on behalf of the House of Representatives and by extension on behalf of the National Assembly. An arm of government, I believe you are a lawyer and you know what an arm of government means. So it's not like we are undermining you or we are jettisoning the commitment you have to really come and serve. I can understand and agree with you. I realize the need that yes, you wanted to come so that you don't disappoint the National Assembly. Madam.